Emotional entanglements can resemble unseen threads, bound us, quietly controlling our ideas, deeds, and, in the end, our happiness. But what if we could use the knowledge of antiquated Stoic thinkers like Marcus Aurelius to become adept at the skill of emotional resilience? The philosophy of Stoicism, which is based on the pursuit of reason and self-control, provides important insights about handling our emotional environments. One of the most respected Stoic philosophers, Marcus Aurelius, advocated for us to meet life's challenges with courage and serenity by concentrating on what we can control. Today, we explore the profound lessons of Stoicism to give you techniques for emotionally detaching yourself. By using Stoic wisdom, you're not just turning away from unpleasant feelings when you leave relationships that might no longer be beneficial to your well-being. Rather, you're starting a path that will change you and lead to personal liberation. Imagine handling the emotional ups and downs of life with the composure of a Stoic philosopher, making decisions based on logic rather than whimsy. So what makes Stoicism the best option for emotional distance? The principles of Stoicism help us develop a mental fortitude that shields against emotional disturbances, enabling us to maintain our inner peace regardless of outside influences. As we explore these timeless insights together, you'll learn not only to detach from emotional dependencies, but also that true power lies in our response to external circumstances rather than the circumstances themselves but also to enjoy the freeing clarity that follows. Join me on this insightful journey to rediscover the strength of your own spirit through the insightful words of Stoic philosophy by using this philosophical approach. As always, if you appreciate what we're doing here, please consider doing a small, gratuitous favor by hitting the subscribe button. In the Stoic tradition, let's proceed. Understanding our motivations for our acts and feelings is crucial for gaining emotional independence. Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and other Stoics stress this point. Self-awareness is not only a tool for personal understanding. Marcus Aurelius reminds us in his meditations that we are in control of our brains, not external circumstances. Recognize this, and you'll gain resilience. This striking statement emphasizes the Stoic idea that true control originates within, not from changing our external environment. To begin, the process of detachment, first determine why particular emotional or relationship connections are no longer beneficial to your life. Are they poisonous, draining, or perhaps not in line with your personal development? Knowing why you do things strengthens your determination and helps you to match your actions with your higher philosophical or personal aims. Stoicism encourages us to examine our relationships carefully and consider whether they are in our best interests. This approach is similar to Socrates' insistence on asking probing questions in order to get to the heart of matters. Aristotle, another pillar of Western philosophy, also touched on this theme, but from a slightly different angle. He proposed that knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. This introspective journey requires honest evaluation of our attachments, recognizing which ones hinder our ability to live virtuously as per Stoic and Aristotelian ideals. Epictetus maintained that we should only worry about the things that we can control. His teachings push us to make the distinction between the events and our responses, which allows us to concentrate all of our energy on the things that we can control. A practical application of this idea is to think back on your relationships and how they affect your mental health. Ask yourself, what areas of this connection can I control? Is my emotional involvement valued and reciprocated? By taking these actions, you accept a larger philosophical tradition that emphasizes self-knowledge, reason, and individual autonomy in addition to stoic detachment. This process is about realigning your outward relationships with your inner ideals and objectives, not about cutting links out of spite or apathy. It's about creating room for emotional and spiritual development in order to provide a path toward more positive relationships and personal fulfillment. When you start to live in accordance with your innermost ideals in the Stoic philosophy, 
rather than just reacting to the environment around you. This alignment is where true strength rests. Healthy emotion management and expression don't include repressing feelings. Rather, they involve finding a method to incorporate them into daily living. That benefits your health and clear thinking. The Stoics believed that while we cannot always control what happens to us, we can influence how we respond. Epictetus once said, It doesn't matter what happens to you. What matters is how you react to it. This idea lies at the heart of the Stoic theory of emotions. The first step in practicing effective emotional management is to recognize and comprehend your feelings without allowing them to control your behavior. Stoicism teaches us to analyze our emotions objectively, examining them as if they were happenings outside ourselves, a practice that aligns closely with modern cognitive behavioral treatment approaches. With the help of this technique, we can determine whether our emotional reactions are appropriate and helpful before acting upon them. Healthy emotional expression involves finding outlets for your feelings that do not damage you or other people. This can involve writing, which Marcus Aurelius himself practiced during his meditations, where he reflected on his thoughts and emotions to gain clarity and insight. Alternatively, physical exercise can be a great way to channel energy and reduce stress. Aligning with the Aristotelian notion that virtue involves action and that the health of the body is linked to the health of the soul. Lastly, talking honestly and openly about feelings with friends or a therapist can also relieve stress and promote deeper understanding. Seneca wrote a lot. Regarding the advantages of conversation and friendship for mental well-being, claiming that a buddy can serve as a mirror for our spirits, enabling us to see things more clearly, and that the stoic habit of journaling or introspection is especially helpful for controlling emotions. This process not only aids in detaching from immediate emotional impulses, but also helps in analyzing the causes and effects of those emotions, fostering a deeper understanding and resilience. By regularly assessing our emotional state, we can develop a more stoic response to life's challenges, reacting logically as opposed to emotionally. The Stoic rule states that the best way to control and express your emotions is to strike a balance such that they are neither repressed nor ignored. Neither overwhelming, but rather are recognized and articulated in ways that support inner peace and personal development. The Stoics called this balanced approach antaraxia, which is a deep sense of calm that results from living in accordance with reason. When we apply this wisdom to relationships and interactions, we learn to set boundaries around what we can influence with our actions, responses, and decisions. Epictetus famously stated that some things are in our control and others are not. Stoicism teaches that understanding what we can control and letting go of what we cannot is essential to living a virtuous life. Healthy boundaries are about protecting oneself, not about being alone or uncaring about other people. As well as self and other respect, Marcus Aurelius highlighted the importance of acting in accordance with one's own nature while respecting the nature of others. This balance is at the heart of setting effective boundaries by clearly defining how we allow others to treat us and what we expect in our personal and professional relationships. We honor our values and encourage others to do the same. Setting boundaries practically entails having open lines of communication and enforcing them consistently. It entails saying no when something goes against your values or jeopardizes your well-being. It may also entail restricting the amount of time you spend with particular people or refraining from having stressful or uncomfortable conversations. Seneca, the Stoic philosopher, recommended hanging out with people who will improve you as a man, except those who you yourself can get better at. In modern psychology, boundaries are seen as essential for emotional health because they help people define themselves and their interactions with the outside world. Healthy boundaries can prevent resentment, burnout, and emotional exhaustion, issues that the Stoics recognized as being contrary to living a life of virtue and reason. By setting and respecting boundaries, we not only protect our emotional space, but also foster relationships that are based on mutual respect and understanding of the Stoic rule 
to set healthy boundaries. This guidance suggests a reciprocal approach to relationships that is only possible with clear boundaries, is closely linked to the Stoic's central thesis, which holds that living by reason and virtue leads to eudaimonia, or genuine happiness. When we set clear limits, we live more honestly in line with our internal principles and the outside world. This practice has its roots in Stoic philosophy, which emphasizes the development of the self through discipline, wisdom, and understanding one's own capacity for control. Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius were among the Stoics who believed that true independence came from mastering one's internal state rather than being swayed. This practice is not just about avoiding harm, but about actively cultivating the kind of life that is robust, peaceful, and deeply satisfying. By outside factors, Epictetus famously stated, Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control in cultivating self-reliance. You're encouraged to focus on your own thoughts and actions as the main sources of happiness and fulfillment. This means developing an internal locus of control, a belief that your actions are what influence the outcomes in your life. This perspective aligns closely with what Marcus Aurelius wrote in his Meditations. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself in your way of thinking. Here Aurelius emphasizes that one's own attitudes and acts to promote personal growth are what lead to happiness rather than wealth status or material belongings. Stoicism teaches the Stoics also promoted facing challenges head-on, as overcoming adversity is seen as a pathway to personal strength and wisdom. Seneca put it succinctly when he said that it is not because things are difficult that we do not dare, but rather that we do not dare that they are difficult. Furthermore, developing self-reliance involves minimizing dependence. The practice of self-examination and constant learning involves assessing your virtues and flaws, setting personal goals, and striving towards them with diligence and resilience. About external validation. This is appreciating other people's perspectives without depending on them for decisions or self-worth, rather than rejecting relationships or isolating oneself. In practical terms, promoting personal growth and self-reliance can be achieved through a variety of habits and practices. Stoicism tries to promote this feeling of confidence and contentment inside oneself through its teachings on virtue and control. Consistent introspection via writing, meditation, and reading philosophical literature can enhance comprehension and self-control. Establishing personal goals that are consistent with your principles fosters development and shows that you can rely on yourself to fulfill life's obligations by developing these attributes. You accept the Stoic objective of developing into a more whole and independent person. Fostering personal growth and self-reliance is, in essence, about creating a life in which you are the primary architect of your happiness and virtue, embodying the Stoic ideal of living in harmony with nature. This principle is echoed by the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, who famously said, Make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it occurs. This approach helps people release themselves from the anxiety of trying to control the uncontrollable, instead concentrating on how they react to outside events. In the context of Stoicism, mindfulness refers to the deliberate observation of our feelings and thoughts without attachment or hasty judgment. Through mindfulness practice, we can learn to accept that our ideas and emotional reactions are only fleeting states that shouldn't control how we behave. This is similar to the Socratic notion of an examined life, which holds that living successfully requires a knowledge of our inner selves. This is further supported by Marcus Aurelius's meditation guidance, in which he exhorts us to pay attention to the way our thoughts arise and learn from them in order to control our responses. Acceptance is one more crucial component of this rule. Involves accepting the truth of our circumstances without opposition or denial. 
Stoics hold that peace arises from allowing things to unfold naturally, an idea that can greatly lessen emotional upheaval. Seneca clarified this when he suggested that we shouldn't endure suffering before it is absolutely necessary, highlighting the fact that a lot of our worries and fears are caused by our unwillingness to accept reality as it is in the actual world. Beginner activities that focus on acceptance and mindfulness can be done every day. Making time each day to spend introspectively on your thoughts and emotions will help you develop the habit of mindfulness. You can further strengthen this practice by using techniques like mindful walking or deep breathing meditation. By using these stoic practices to daily life, people can attain a more balanced perspective that makes it simpler to separate from damaging or needless emotional entanglements. This helps you be present and involved in the moment. This well-rounded strategy, supported by both contemporary psychologists and ancient philosophers, not only increases emotional resilience, but also improves general well-being by enabling people to live more in harmony with reality and less in conflict with life's inevitable changes and challenges. We conclude our examination of Stoic principles for emotional detachment by learning how to manage life with greater equanimity and less distress. It's critical to take stock of the voyage we've embarked upon together. The path to Stoicism teaches us that detachment isn't about indifference or emotional numbness, but rather about achieving freedom from the passions that disturb our peace and cloud our judgment. With its rich heritage and profound insights into the nature of human emotions and resilience, Stoicism offers us timeless wisdom that can be applied to modern life. The five rules we've discussed are not just strategies but pathways to a more fulfilled and balanced life. Marcus Aurelius emphasizes that we must adjust to the conditions of the moment in order to be happy, not on outside events, but rather on our decision on how to react to them. Remember that Stoicism is a lifetime philosophy that invites you to consistently engage with your thoughts, challenge your perceptions, and strive for a tranquil mind. As you apply these principles to your life, Remember that Stoicism encourages us to look inward, find our equilibrium, and act with reason and virtue. By focusing on our own behaviors and attitudes, we more closely connect ourselves with Stoic qualities, leading to deeper happiness and emotional resilience. Epictetus's advice to concentrate on what is under our control is especially relevant in this situation. I hope that this investigation into Stoic wisdom serves as a springboard for your continued practice. Of these ideas offers a fresh chance to put them into practice, promoting not only separation from harmful influences, but also a deeper engagement with the fundamental ideals that make life truly worthwhile. Adopt this wisdom and observe how it changes your relationships and how you approach life's obstacles as you proceed down this path. Remember Seneca's words, as long as you live, keep learning how to live. This is the essence of Stoicism, constant learning, adaptation, and growth in the pursuit of virtue and peace. Remember to watch our upcoming film, which will go into further detail on the Stoic way of life and improve your comprehension and application of Stoic philosophy. We appreciate you being a part of our community, where we all learn from one another and develop better every day. See you soon.